Nigeria's National Assembly is currently considering the NGO regulation bill for passage. It has gone through the first reading, it's gone through second reading, it's now in committee stage, and later this month, the Committee on NGOs in the House of Representatives in Abuja will be holding a public hearing on the bill. And it's important that you understand what this bill means and its implications for both yourself as a citizen and for the country uh, in general. And let me be clear, this is the most dangerous piece of legislation that has come for consideration in the National Assembly since the return to civil rule in 1999. It covers the activities of every entity and everybody that is not government. And it affects churches, mosques, schools, universities, hospitals, everything, as well as humanitarian operations wherever they are taking place in the country whether in the northeast or in the southeast or south-south, whether in the middle belt or in the northwest or southwest. It is totalitarian in its consequences. Now, what does the bill require? Basically, all resources, all funds, everything that are collected or liable to be collected and made available to service communities, individuals in need in this country will be subject to Abuja. Before you can raise funds in your church and your mosque, you have to get Abuja's permission. After you've raised the money, you have to return them to Abuja for Abuja to tell you what to do with them. And when you've done that, only Abuja can help you to do your audits. Nobody can operate anything without clearance from Abuja. It's worse than a totalitarian piece of legislation. For the old mamas and old papas doing Isusu in the village, that is revolving credit. Before you do your collections, you come to Abuja for clearance. After you've done your collections, before you share the money or rotate the collections amongst the beneficiaries, you come to Abuja for clearance. Ahmadiyya movement will have to come to Abuja for clearance. Nasfat will come to Abuja to do anything. The mosques that do collections every Friday to support people in their congregations and their communities will all have to account for that money to civil servants who will either tell them what to do with it or collect it and trouser it into their pockets. The churches will be out of business. The mosques will be endangered. This is what the legislators want us to subscribe to. And as a citizen, you've got to understand that this means that there'll be no voice of criticism for government. Nobody can tell government anything. What this body proposes to do, what government is proposing with this bill, is that after it has been passed, everybody organizing in Nigeria under any form, students, all students association, Reverend sisters in convents, Reverend fathers and pastors, wherever they may be, Imams, Alphas and everybody, you will have to apply to Abuja for them to register you to operate. If they agree to register, they can refuse to register you, in which case you cannot do anything. Now, if they agree to register you, however, you will have to only hold that license for two years. After those two years, you will have to apply for them to renew your license. If they agree at that time to renew your license, you can continue operating for another two years. If they don't agree, that license lapses. If you try to do anything without that license, you'll be liable to be imprisoned for 18 months. And if, you, if they are sympathetic and agree not to send you to jail, you may be let go with a fine of 500,000 naira. The civil servants will collect this money in the name of the politicians. It will be used to fire up political power that will not be accountable to any one of us. And this is why I'm saying that this is the most dangerous piece of legislation that's been considered in our country to date, in the past 20 years. But you can do something about it. This does not have to be law. This will not be law if you agree that as the citizen, you are the boss. Contact your 
legislator at the state level, contact your legislator in Abuja, contact your senator, in your, your distinguished senator in your senatorial zone, and tell them this will not happen. This is your country too. And unless you fight for it, these people are going to destroy it, not just for you, but for your children and for your grandchildren. And that they don't have a mandate to do. My name is Chidi Anselm Odinkalo. I'm a Nigerian citizen.